how can I fit seven feet of pipe from here up into that rib and over? You can't. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I have to cut it. What did I just... Oh, no! Drill a hole through the floor. For the drain? For the drain. For the washing machine drain. This battery will die while we're doing this. <laughs> I guarantee it. Do you need glasses? No, I can see just fine. I mean. <laughs> Another layer? Yep. So there's the flooring. The linoleum. linoleum. There we go. We got it. Okay. Now let's just see how well this fits this hole. Oh my god, it's so perfect I can't believe it. So we gotta pass the pipe from the drain air hole all the way across the bus over here and then this way to go through our super giant dun 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 big old honker valve. Alright, so this is what we're trying to do. In a lot of states, we can pour our water out on the ground. Gray water. Our gray, yeah, our gray water out on the ground. Um, but there are some stipulations to that. And but quite universally, they don't want you to pour the water out of your sink to the ground. They want they call that gray water, or they call it black water, I guess. And so you have to dump that. However, coming out of your shower or coming out of like your washing machine, that can generally go straight to ground. So. We want to give ourselves an option, and that's what this valve is going to do. Water is going to come in here and either go to our gray tank or uh, go to our straight to ground. So it gives us the option to, ex it, it helps us extend our stays out, if at all possible, by using this valve right here. And so we have to work this into the whole system, and it's going to live in here somewhere. Shower water comes out of there and reduces to this size. If I make the water come out of the drain, turn a corner into this thing, kind of like this number, and then the water from the other side come on this side. So these two go down into this, and then I can either make it go out through the HEPVO into the tank or that way which it doesn't need a hep though. Ta-da! That's how we're doing it. It's like you're building this giant erector set of pipes. <laughs> it's exactly so much doing. scarier because you're gluing each piece as you go. So, so if you mess up or you need to change it, like you're screwed. That's exactly right, actually. Erector sets for grown-ups are so much harder. And that is our choice of one way or another. I'm going to drain you. <laughs> Okay, so 
so we'll prop this up with tape and stuff. Meantime, okay, this is where we start doing a little bit of scary stuff. That's some thick shit. Hold this. Sure. That's it, man. Looks excellent. Yeah. So what's the little lever position on top? Right now, it's set to, right here, it's set to tank. Okay. And then this Over way, there. it's set to, to exit, which is what we're gonna plumb to up. To water trees. Yes. Tank mode or tree mode? That's right. Got it. <laughs> okay. Jesus. We kind of forgot something. You can't believe it. Can you believe it? You can't believe what I just did. It's too amazing. But there it is. There it is. That is the secret. <laughs> And that goes on to here. Heads over there. Goes on to this. Down into there somewhere. Yeah, don't drill the hole till we know for sure. Ow. Now we need to get the water across the bus and over to this thing. All the way across over there, right? Uh-huh. How can I fit seven feet of pipe from here up into that rib and over? You can't. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I have to cut it to get it to go across. And I have to do the same thing. So I have to have make it at least three pieces. And then have little coupling pieces to put it back together exactly. with. Exactly. <laughs> okay. And there was no other way to get this across the bus because it was too long. But now, now we're in. Like, By doing it in yeah. sections. Yes. Okay, so now, with that right there, let us measure. All right, it's got to be like, okay. Well, that's right where you put it. Dropping, but other than that, it's like good. Totally stoked on it. So we got to get the right pipe for this. But this goes on here. This one goes over on that one over there. This one goes on that one. We got to tie it together with a twenty-dollar piece of pipe, apparently. And then another twenty-dollar piece of pipe 
to from from here like this to here like that. So and then our gray water will tap into here, and uh, it'll be awesome. And I'm going to put it right here so that uh, we could this blocks it from getting whacked. Uh -huh and kind of just kind of protects it a little bit. So, so this is the one that we had to make sure that we adjust it just right because we still like this is just you know being held up by the the flanges there and we really don't want that much pressure on that so is this going to get us like a support strap yes okay we're going to use some uh plumbing strap here which probably would be enough but we might do another one we'll see Good, you've got a new glue. What you doing up under there? I'm about to mount this thing. Right there. There it is. So now I gotta bring the angle out this way, and then we'll bring it right across the bus right there. I gotta come out from there. And then kind of a little jog so that it goes out that way. Probably says shake well somewhere around here. Do not shake. Yeah, right. <laughs> Under no circumstances should you shake this product. Explosive results. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and together and twist. Beautiful. That's it. So yeah. you happy with that? Yeah. 58 and a quarter. Make sure it's closed and just check it over here. <sighs> oh god, I almost Jeez. hit you in the face. <laughs> Can you hold this up? Oh, hold it so. Just for a second. While I get some more. Don't want to hit the ground. Yeah, gotcha. And it went. There it is. Oh, hey, you have to hold that. If that falls, it'll break everything. This is epic. Like this is a really cool thing we did here. And we did a pretty good job. This is the letting the gray water. What this is doing is when we can, with our big valve, we can choose between going from, for, from our, our wastewater going into this tank, these tanks, I should say, these are our gray tanks or we can divert our shower and our washing machine out this pipe and it comes to this valve right here. And if we open this valve and we change, and I'm sure most people have seen these before, this is just the cap to, the, uh, to our dump orifice here. And you can get these with a hose attachment so you could screw a regular garden hose onto here. So we could put this on and then open up this valve right here, hook up a garden hose, and then all of our shower water and our washing machine water will come down this tube and immediately exit to a tree or a bush or something. 
Um, and, you know, so we can, that ex drastically extends the use of our gray tanks. And then when we go to dump, we close this and we open this one. And this is the guillotine valve for that dumps our actual tanks. So if we go up to a dump station, we then hook up our big flexible hose to this thing right here, pull this open and it dumps our gray tanks to, uh, into a dump station. So it just gave us an option to do something a little bit different to extend the use of our gray tanks uh, fairly significantly, especially if we're taking any showers, very significant. Uh, you got those, uh, here, set them on a two by 12 right here. Okay. Ooh, ah. Hot stuff? Hot man on my tummy. <laughs> <laughs> Fine work, young man. It is. Fine work. <sighs> okay. What's next? <laughs> Here we go. No. No, these things won't move. It ain't going nowhere. I think we should do the drain, the vents real fast and call it. What do you think? Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. There we go. That's more. There we go. All right. Now we're gonna put, I don't have the cap, I have one cap, I don't have both of them. We're gonna put a cap on this that has a quarter inch hole in it. And that'll prevent water from sloshing up here and just ejecting really quick because that hole will slow everything down coming up in this pipe. So, and since we're not gonna be putting any solids inside of here, um, no solids will ever get up in this pipe. So we don't have to worry about toilet paper or something getting up in here and clogging this thing and causing a problem. So for the most part, we don't have any problem. So on top of putting the cap on here, I'm also putting a small screen uh, inside of the cap before I put it on here. It'll probably be a screen out of like a, uh, when you take the nozzle off a sink, those little screens in there and then put a cap on it. And that way bugs can't get in there to start infiltrating and making this a really gross thing. We're done here. You want to try the sink? We can. We can make water go in the tanks and then drain it. It's gonna be cool. Oh yeah. Well, hell, I can't even see where the pipe's coming down over here. Make some water come out of the sink. Okay. Just to, just to like a splash. And I'm gonna have to cut a piece of pipe that will... God, I don't know, we have enough, okay. Here comes the gigantic land sloth. Yeah. Out from under its home beneath the bus. <laughs> oh, it's right there. There we go. This goes on first. go. That is now part of the bus. Let's go do the other part. Okay. That now was fast. We need just went right the through. Dremel tool. God, I hope that works. Was that the wrong size? What just happened? What did I just... Oh, no! Was that the wrong size drill? Oh my God, yes. 
What did we switch it to a bigger size for? To fit a piece of pipe into it. The problem is I don't know how to patch that hole now. And I still have to drill the hole for this thing somewhere. Right there is where it needed to be. <laughs> Saving the plumbing, part 10. <laughs> Another nefarious hole. <laughs> it's gonna work really good though. <laughs> Crazy. There we go. You get to work? I do. I get work too. I believe in you. I believe in French fries. I think about them every freaking day. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna do it right here, right now. It's about to happen. Mike's laying pipe. You have it set to go to the gray tank? Mm-hmm. So the water's... Oh, look, we got ants. Oh, what the hell? I don't know what they're going for. I don't feel like there's any food in here. Idiots. Is there a pump working? It has to be. The water's on. I just can't believe it. It's just so quiet. Okay, so now let's go out and test it. All right. So if we go like that, thank you. Oh, bussy bathroom dump. First one ever. Yeah. Ooh, all it is is black plastic from the drilling. Oh, I know, huh? All right, so that's a success. Okay. So now, the other way would be if we had, if we were parked, we would open this one here and this is our direct gray water from our washing machine and shower. So I'll go turn the shower on. With and that one open? Yeah, and it should just drink right out of there. All right, ready for the magic? Yep. Look down there. I know, it's not here yet. Oh. I should probably uh, switch it over to gray water. It's going in the tank right now. Oh, you pull forgot the, to switch the, the thing. Okay, drain this one. Yeah. So we switch it like this by just switching it to the other direction like that. And now our gray water will pour out. It's just good. Yeah. Coming out. I have a trickle. Oh, there's more. There it finally is. caught up. Yeah. So now we can hook a hose to that and water plants or whatever while we're out boondocking without causing any kind of, without breaking any laws, number one. Just